lessons can be found at mrmathblog.com. So uh, here's our common core strand and our essential questions. How can we draw a bar graph to show data in a table or a picture graph? So here's an example right here. Sander made a tally table over here to the right uh, to record the different types of birds she saw in her backyard. How can she show the results in a bar graph? Okay, so what we're going to do is make a bar graph of these tally marks right here. And we're going to make a horizontal bar graph. So here's going to be our horizontal bar graph. They're going to go across right here. So we're going to build a bar graph with this little box right here. Okay, so the first step is we're going to write a title at the top to tell what the graph is talking about. Well, the graph is talking about... Uh, the birds in Sanders backyard okay so the bird types in Sanders backyard then we'll label the sides of the graph to tell about the bars okay so over here is going to be the bird types the types of birds and then right here we're just going to put these right here the jay the sparrow the finch the blackbird that's going to go down here okay so there's that right there bird types are over here and then, uh, late, and then we're going to label the bottom to explain what these numbers are. Okay, well these bottom are going to represent how many birds are in each category. So the number of birds right there. Okay, so the next step is we're going to choose a num the numbers for the bottom of the graph so that most of the bars will end on these lines right here. So we're going to put numbers here. So let's take a look at these numbers right here. The smallest numbers was right here is 4. So since the least number is 4, and the greatest number is right here is 14. Let's go ahead and make these go by twos. This will be 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. So we'll have it go up to 16 right there, okay? And then we're going to go ahead and just draw and shade the bars, okay? So J's, I'm thinking like a blue J, so I'll shade this in blue. And we'll shade it all the way out to, this is 5, this is 10, so plus 2 more is 12. So this, this is going to be a blue bar going all the way out to 12 right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and shade a blue bar right out to 12 right there. Okay, sparrows, there weren't many sparrows in Sanders backyard, so we're only going to go out to 4. Okay, so we'll shade sparrows right out to here to 4 right there. Okay, finches, the most of them were finches, so here's uh, 5, here's 10, and then plus 4 more is 14. So we're going to do finches all the way out here. In the springtime, you guys, finches in, in our backyard, are they're bright red, they're bright yellow, and they just they sing so beautifully. They make the trees just sound so pretty. Okay, and then blackbirds, those are going to go out to 9. Here's 5 plus 4 is 9, okay? So these only go by 2s. So the blackbirds are going to go in between 8 and 10. So 9 will be right in the middle right there, okay? All right, so there's a nice bar graph that represents the birds in her backyard. All right, so how do we know how long to draw the bar for the blackbirds? Well, the blackbirds was, um, uh, there were nine of those blackbirds, and since the numbers went by twos, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, then we went halfway between the 8 and the 10 right there, and that represented the 9 right there. Okay, you guys, hey, if you get a chance, would you uh, click like on this video? That would help me. Thank you. Take care.